Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this is Dave Hayes. Uh, we're back with another ROM overview and this one here is going to be of MUI 8. Uh, MUI, I call it MUI. It's MIUI. Uh, MIUI 8. Um, I know I just put a, uh, a video out not too long ago on this uh, on this ROM, but there's been some major changes to it. Uh, basically, or the biggest change that's been made to it uh, was by Thomas Raines um, uh, in the, uh, of XDA. He's a developer. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here real quick, just go right to XDA. Uh, as I'm doing a little discussing of the ROM itself, uh, I'll let you go ahead and read his uh, introduction. Uh, basically, as it says here, uh, uh, it was uh, J or JT, JTJ who brought us this, who ported it over and brought it uh, to the Nexus 6, but we had all kinds of problems with it. Uh, a lot of the guys were working on it back and forth, uh, Thomas Raines being one of the uh, big contributors along with a couple other guys, um, and they actually got this ROM to boot up and run perfectly. Uh, no issues whatsoever, uh, no extra flashing of anything or going in and, uh, you know, modifying system apps or anything like that. Um, it's a flash and forget ROM now. And I will tell you right now, this is daily driver material. Um, a couple issues with it. If you are on multi-ROM like I am right now, uh, I can't get it, I can't get it to run on multi-ROM. Now, you could probably flash it to your secondary uh, and it may work there. Um, but if you're going to want to run it on your primary, uh, the the kernel, you have to run with the kernel that comes with it. I flashed a couple other kernels and the ROM uh, just doesn't want to boot. Um, secondly, when you flash this ROM, there's the download. Uh, it's going to be one file. You're going to flash the file and then you're going to boot the phone back up. Do not wipe cache, don't wipe Delvic, don't flash anything else after this zip. You flash the zip, you boot your phone up, you're good to go. Let it boot up, go through your phone, set it up. Then if you want to have G apps, of course we're gonna, then you want to then re reboot back into recovery and then flash uh, open gaps Pico. Don't flash anything larger than that or you may have issues. Um, flash the Pico version, uh, then once you boot back into your phone again, um, go into settings, set up your Google, app, you know, your Google account. Um, and then load anything that you want from the Play Store that way. I guarantee you guys are not going to have any boots. If you follow those instructions, you're not going to have any uh, Google Apps force close issues whatsoever. And I'll tell you what, guys, I don't recommend it, but I actually flash the uh, Dirty Unicorns TBO clear gaps, and <laughs> I'm not having any issues at all. Um, I'll, and just to show you uh, quickly, let me see here. I'll go into, uh, find my Google Apps here. Uh, I'm going to go into uh, YouTube and just let it open up for you, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, I am running Clear YouTube. Now, not all of them work. Um, the Play Store, the Clear Play Store doesn't work. Uh, um, email, uh, my Gmail doesn't work. Now, but if I go into Hangouts, uh, Hangouts is clear. Uh, it shows up clear, so it's all working. Um, again, it's just the way it is. But guys, you're, you're noticing I'm not getting any force closed messages. Of course, I didn't on my last video. You're not going to get them uh, on this uh, at, or on, on this one either. Uh, i got to find the settings. Uh, let's see, system... Nope, wrong one. Bear with me, guys. Uh, and it, it sucks because I can't pause this uh, because... Um, the buttons aren't where it should be. Uh, I gotta find settings here now. Boy, this sucks. Um, there we go. All right. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go into um, display. Uh, not that one. Where do I want to go to? Uh, it's not. It's not that one. Where was I at here? Oh, notification status bar. Uh, this is, I have it on, uh, I have it on separate. Let's go with combined. Uh, that should actually do it for me. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had it on separate. Uh, you want to go combined. Uh, that is the one area that I had some issues with it. Um, so just kind of giving you guys a little heads up there. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm not going to hit every aspect of this since I already had a video out not too long ago. So you guys pretty much know what's in it. All I'm going to tell you is everything is working perfectly now. 
Uh, so I will go through uh, some of the settings quickly. Uh, these are your display settings. Not a lot here. Uh, wallpaper, you can pick wallpaper. Um, and uh, any wallpapers that you would download from the theme store, they would go in there. Uh, themes, again, themes are working. Uh, these are themes that I downloaded. It does come with a couple already pre-installed. Uh, right now, I think I'm running Broken Heart or let me see which one's showing default right now. Oops. No. Uh, oh, uh, I'm running High Life. Um, but let's say I wanted to, let's say, uh, uh, run the Broken Heart. Click on that. You click Apply. Uh, it will apply for you. Hopefully, it doesn't kick out the. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't kick out the uh, the video. And let's just see here. Uh, nope, we're still recording, so it's it's working. As you guys can see, themes are working great. Um, that's one thing I love about uh, MIUI uh, is the theming. Uh, and if you want to download them, like I said, you guys can see the, the ones that I've downloaded. I'm using the theme app that comes with the ROM. Everything's working perfectly. Um, and with CMTE, uh, up in the air, not sure about what's going to happen with this uh, or with the mod. Uh, I may actually just stick with this. Uh, I like themes that are pre-made. Um, it just, to me, I think they, they just pop a little more. Anyways, moving on. Uh, sound and vibrations. Let you guys see that. It's just basic setup. Uh, lock screen and password. This is going to be where you can go. Oh, that's not good. So let's go back into themes because I do want you guys to be able to see this. We're going to go ahead and go back into high life. Hit apply because I do know that that was working. There we go. Theme applied and good. Okay, let's go ahead and go back into settings again. Uh, where were we at? Notification. Sound and vibration. Yeah, okay, here we go. Sound and vibration. Here are all your settings for that. Uh, quite a few, actually. Um, I don't think we missed anything on display. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and go into the lock screen password. This is going to be where you can set up, uh, you know, you forget whether you want swipe, pattern, pin, whatever. Uh, this is going to be where you go for that. As you guys can see, my uh, heads up is working. Um... Notification status bar. Uh, let's see, toggle layout. Of course, uh, this is that separate or combined. Um, I wouldn't change that, um, especially if you're doing a video like this. It'll screw with you. Uh, show notification icons, all that. You know, th This is going to be where you set up your look of your notification status bar. Uh, second space. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure of that is. It's kind of like, it, I think what it's like is, you know, like double users, two users. Or if you even want to set up like a work phone or, or uh, your home phone. Um, uh, that, that's what I'm guessing second space is. Uh, you, you do have do not disturb. These use settings for that. And again, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, gonna to kind of like rush through this because I've already got a video out of this. But I just wanted you guys to see uh, that it's working really, really well now. Uh, battery performance obviously is going to be uh, set up for your, your power settings. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, battery saver, stuff like that. Um, your battery usage, uh, you know, manage your apps for battery usage. Uh, here's your storage settings. Uh, additional settings. Uh, this is going to be where you can set up, you know, time and date, moving your clock, uh, not moving your clock, setting up the, your clock the way you want it. Uh, time zone, stuff like that, um, language input, uh, it's going to be your keyboard settings. Uh, it does come with Google Keyboard, which is kind of weird, <laughs> um, but good. Uh, because the, uh, the MIUI keyboard is kind of tough to get used to, unless, unless you guys are used to it. Uh, if you've used it before, then, if, you know, <laughs> then I guess it would be second nature to you. But I'm not used to it, and it took me a while to actually get around it. All right, man, I missed that pause button. <laughs> uh, okay, child mode. Uh, you can set it up. Um, you know, block whatever apps you want. Uh, if you have a children or a child playing with it, you can lock out certain apps. Um, I don't know what Quick Ball is. Uh, last time I tried to open it up, it, that was the only one that force closed on me. 
and I don't want to run, uh, take a chance having a force close while I'm recording this. Uh, so I'm just going to skip that. Uh, of course, you have your screenshot settings, buttons. These are going to be your layouts for your buttons, uh, what you can do with them. Uh, long pressing uh, the buttons down the bottom. Uh, say on recents, these are your settings that you have. Your home button. Basically the same for all of them. Navigation buttons. Uh, hmm. Disable navigation buttons. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about, but you guys can play with it and find out for yourself. Uh, then, of course, ac accessibility. This is going to be, um, you know, magnifying stuff, making your, uh, you know, for the view bigger, uh, you know, especially if you're having problems seeing. Um, they have the, uh, uh, where it makes the uh, words a little brighter, puts it like a line outline on them, stuff like that in here. Uh, invert color. This is going to be where you're going to go for that. Uh, man, I can't even talk this morning. Uh, let's see, uh, developer options. This is going to be where you find that at. And again, uh, I'll show you guys how to open your developer options because this uh, option is not open by default just like uh, all of the other Android devices are. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have that on, uh, but I do have it on now. Make sure you guys have USB debugging turned on. Um, that way you can uh, uh, move files over through ADB uh, just in case you hit the wall or, or hit a wall. Uh, while you're running this ROM, you, you definitely want to have that on. Uh, I do have my animations all at one. Uh, this is the way it comes flashed. Uh, I turned them back to five or 0.5, and then I turned them back to zero, and it just took too, too much of the animations away. Uh, the Nexus 6 is not a slouch when it comes to a device. It's got a lot of power, three gigs of RAM. Um, so I just took them all back up to one. I think the ROM looks much, much better there, and this is Marshmallow. Uh, Marshmallow seems to run pretty good this way. Uh, so that's that's where I'm leaving it. You guys can do whatever you want with that. Uh, then you have backup and reset. Uh, it's going to be where you, you do a, a factory reset, uh, backup anything. Uh, this is, right here is where you do that at. And then uh, the Me Mover. Uh, this is for if you have two different devices. Uh, this is how you get information from one device to another device or from your PC to your device. You know, uh, That's going to be where you go for that. All right, uh, then you have your account. I'm not going to go into that, but that's where you set up your MIUI account. And listen, guys, it takes a little bit to set it up, but it's well worth it. Uh, you get it set up. That gives you access to the theme store, the wallpapers, uh, yeah, um, icons, uh, your fonts, all of that. I'm telling you, MIUI is an If they just put an app drawer in there, <laughs> I would love it. Uh, let's see, uh, and of course you have your sync settings, uh, system apps, again, uh, this is going to be all of your system apps, I don't know why they show them, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can go in there and put some of them to sleep if you want, uh, then it shows your installed apps and your dual apps, uh, permissions, app lock, and then all the way at the bottom is going to be about or your about phone, and where you get to your device or your uh, uh, developer uh, uh, options your, uh, is you got to press the MIUI version several times and it will unlock the uh, developer options feature for you. Uh, normally in Android you would press the build number while you press the uh, uh, MIUI version. So that is pretty much it. Oh, uh, if you guys want to change, like say you have Google Launcher or you put Nova Launcher on there and you want to change uh, your layout, your home button, um, I did find that, and that is under, you go to, I don't know if it's system apps, no, it's uh, installed apps, and you go to, that's not it, yeah, defaults, click on defaults, you're going to find launcher at the top, click on that, that's going to show the launchers you're running, uh, it's very simple to, to get to the launcher you want, you just click on it, you press the home button, and Bob's your uncle, you're there, uh, but since it is MIUI, uh, I wanted to showcase it as this. If you switch to any other launcher, you're not going to get the full effect from the themes. Uh, as you, if you guys can uh, see there, I lost my wallpapers, uh, but it's very easy to put back on. Um, you can either do it from here, or uh, all you have to do is go to themes. Let me find it here. Tools, uh, themes. Where is themes? Uh, let me see here. <laughs> 
I'll tell you. Um, themes. I thought they had one specifically for wallpapers, but uh, yeah, you basically just, uh, after it loads, uh, click on wallpapers, find the one you want, download it. Uh, yeah, I'm clean back at the other end of my house, so my Wi-Fi is kind of a little bit slow here, but you basically find the wallpaper that you want. Let me find one real quick. Oh, I like that one. Uh, you just, you download it. Let it go ahead and do its thing. It says it's downloading, so it shouldn't take that long. And then you press set. I want this for both my uh, home screen and lock screen. And if I click home, there you have it. So I'm not going to click on the lock screen because I don't know if it's going to affect my uh, video recording or not. So guys, that's it. Uh, it's MIUI. Uh, this is MIUI 8 for the Nexus 6. It's running great. Uh, make sure uh, that you guys definitely uh, thank the developer on this. Um, he did a hell of a good job. Uh, Thomas Reigns, um, if you go to the site, make sure you give him a big thumbs up on it. Uh, I mean, if you run this for your, your daily driver, um, you know, donate. Uh, a lot of work went, in, went into this to get it right. Uh, like I said, JT, JTJ was the one that brought it out to us. He, and, you know, we thank him for that. But there are a lot of issues with that uh, initial ROM, a lot of issues. And uh, Thomas Reigns and a couple of the other guys got together, got some ideas thrown around, uh, people talking back and forth on XGA. And, and then it ended up, you know, JTJTJ uh, wasn't answering anything. He just kind of left. And I get it, people get busy. But development needed to progress. And in order for it to progress... Uh, Thomas Reigns was asked by several people if he would just, you know, put his own uh, thread out there and let us use what he uh, developed. He did. Kudos to him for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, guys, um, I'm going to let you go. I just want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, and I just want to let you guys know that um, the video reviews are going to come back. I was, I've just been bogged down at work tremendously uh, with end of year kind of things going on, uh, the holiday season, all of that. Um, and some of the developments, uh, were, uh, development issues with everything being slowed down uh, with signage and mod and all that. Um, but as far as that goes, the whole CMT thing, I'm just pushing it to the uh, back burner. And I'm just going to act like it, it, we're done with it. And I'm just going to move on from there. Uh, so guys, expect more videos to start coming out. Um, again, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking in there with me. Um, and if you guys like the uh, video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.